Hi, welcome to Finivise. Get ready to enter a world of mind-blowing technology that is transforming our daily lives, the world of chatbots. Imagine having a free personal assistant that can do everything from providing investment research to helping you lose weight, manage your social media accounts, and even write movie scripts and essays. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, prepare to be amazed because OpenAI's ChatGPT can do all of that and more. This generative pre-trained transformer has taken the world by storm since its release on November 30th, 2022, potentially increasing one person's productivity to that of 10 people. But what does this mean for us? Is it a dangerous warning sign to the human population? Or is it another great technology that will change our lives for good? We'll explore all of this and more in this video as we dive deep into the fascinating world of ChatGPT. To give you some context, OpenAI is an artificial intelligence company worth over $20 billion and raised $1 billion from Microsoft in 2019. They've created some of the most incredible inventions, such as Glide, DAL-E, Codex, GPT-3, and more. But ChatGPT is one of their most popular inventions yet, an improved version of GPT-3 that's designed specifically for chatbot applications. ChatGPT may be 100 times smaller than GPT-3, but it still performs better thanks to its specificity and design. And unlike its counterparts, it's more effective at generating appropriate responses and maintaining a coherent conversation, making it perfect for answering open-ended questions with unlimited demand. But that's not all. ChatGPT has already surpassed Instagram, Facebook, and Netflix in terms of users, hitting a million users in just five days after its release, and crossing 25 million users in less than three months. It uses a reinforcement learning from human feedback training method, which means it can provide responses that are just as good, if not better than some human responses. Examples of its usage include turning a client's poor writing into a professional interaction, mental health support, filing complaints, and canceling subscriptions. For instance, you can ask the chatbot to draft an email to an organization under any topic. Under health, you can receive accurate medical advice from the software. It makes it quite easy as it works with a level of human intelligence that makes it possible to relate to your experience and emotions. It can prepare an effective weight loss plan for you when you provide the necessary information. Do you realize that all the functions of this software are jobs that people are paid for? You may not necessarily have to go see your medical advisor if you learn how to use this to your advantage. Instead of stressing yourself to compose emails for your organization, you can have ChatGPT run the writing for you while you handle other tasks. The same goes for your weight loss plans and academic and business research topics. ChatGPT can form opinions on very specific topics at a user's request, which search engines cannot do. How about the Do No Pay chatbot designed to help individuals who are having challenges with late fees or fines? This AI has been upgraded to what we'll now know as world's first robot lawyer. This chatbot uses an artificial intelligence similar to that of ChatGPT. It is reported that the world's first robot lawyer will be representing a client in court for the first time in February. That's mind-blowing. This is just the beginning. How about when it begins to operate at its maximum capacity? The results will be phenomenal. A lawyer is no longer needed for every case, as a chatbot can effectively aid you in canceling subscriptions and filing complaints. The traditional education system is also gradually being affected, as it has been reported that some students who are aware of this chatbot have been using them for their school projects that ordinarily require research, tests, and examinations. What then becomes of our global education system if schooling is no longer a test for memory, but rather for intelligence? A few years from now, the statistics will be different as critical thinking will drop in humans due to reliance on chatbots. Hence, those who can leverage their ability to think critically will be highly valued. Also, search engines are limited in their feedback mechanism because they cannot give opinion-specific responses. However, with more jobs getting automated, universal basic income is the solution. AI is funding the largest UBI project in the world, experimenting with different ways to get input from groups that will be mostly affected. This is an excellent possibility, as the CEO of OpenAI predicts that if these technologies are fully embraced, it could cause widespread unemployment and economic disruption. To solve this problem, they could fund the universal basic income through taxes, or the profits generated from AI and automation. AI progress is exponential, and humans may have a hard time wrapping their heads around it. AI can help optimize quantum code to create a wormhole in a quantum computer, and generate images that could revolutionize science and research. The coupling of AI and machine learning technique positively affects a wide range of peer science, including computer science, mathematics, physics, medical science, and more. New research and applications are sprouting forth with AI infrastructure's aid, promising scientists a less tedious future. 
Scientific discovery and progress may go up by a factor of a thousand, which will be a massive trend in the future. Microsoft is already integrating Dolly 2 technology into Windows, and a language interface may be an open new technological platform. However, despite the diverse applications of ChatGPT on social media, healthcare, customer service, and financial service, it has some limitations that should be watched out for. Some of these include, the number one disadvantage of this technology that I would like to share with you is that ChatGPT provides information that it should not provide to just anyone. It is well known that ChatGPT gives responses to questions that are a violation of AI content policy. An example is seen in someone's request on ChatGPT to explain how a Molotov cocktail can be made. This information is destructive, and although the content provided by AI falls under the category of auto-generated content, it could lead to manual penalties. The AI might see this as a way of helping the people who are making such inquiries, but its response in this sense can cause damages when utilized by the recipient. The creation of fake websites and social media accounts. There has been a report of fake, or if you will, clone websites with the help of this chatbot. A fake version of the New York Times website was successfully created, and with the help of articles written by ChatGPT, the information on the original website can be restructured. ChatGPT's written essays, lyrics, and research presentations lack depth and expressiveness. The thing is, ChatGPT can mimic human emotions, but only to a certain level. It lacks the actual qualities of emotional and experiential expression. Its superintelligence has not been able to replace the expressiveness of human thoughts and feelings. Moreover, its responses are built around a template that gives its style of writing an outstanding but inhuman perception. Its wordiness and lengthy responses on a health-related topics are less reflective in this aspect. Professional health workers and consultants are likely to give concise responses, but because ChatGPT gives its responses from a more general note, its predictions on health-related issues are not always accurate. There are exclusions on this point. However, some persons have been able to receive good weight loss plans, diet restriction timetables, and more after providing ChatGPT with a summary of the medical histories and body weights. Another important point is that this AI is way too open-ended. You can ask a question on ChatGPT and get a response that says, it does not have enough information on that question. But if you rephrase your question, it will go ahead and give you an answer. This could be a problem in the sense that it may end up giving you different answers to the same question, depending on its interpretation to your questions. Budding entrepreneurs should be paying close attention to AI developments, those whose jobs are at risk because of the advent of ChatGPT should learn to use AI to their advantage by increasing their productivity. You can even do more than secure your job. You could also start your own business by leveraging the effectiveness of ChatGPT and other chatbots. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, suggests that everyone should get involved with AI research, build anything in the field, and not miss the opportunity. Although this AI is expensive compared to Google and other search engines, it doesn't seem to be in competition with them in the market. AI has come to take over, and those who want to be relevant alongside it must be wise in doing so. Once again, if the programmers put in more efforts, they will annihilate most of the limitations on this system in the next year. AIs may only partially replace humans in the market because there will always be issues that require humans, but we all should take caution, and individuals should be educated on the advents of these technologies so that everyone can know what is AI generated from what is human generated. This will help in reducing the substantial risk of deception in society. In conclusion, ChatGPT may have errors in its responses today, and may as well lack feasibility, and its operators are working tirelessly to fix and upgrade it. So, we should all get ready for an AI-dominated world. Enjoy the video? Now watch this one!